It has been a hot day across southern Colorado again for your Wednesday. We are checking a few storms, though, as we head into your afternoon. Take a look at your Storm Tracker 13 Live HD Doppler radar. This storm is the strongest one that we have across southern Colorado right now, and it is off to the west of Castle Rock, north and west of Colorado Springs. Now, this storm is going to continue traveling off toward the north and east, so it is not expected to impact any of the burn scars or the Pikes Peak region. But what you will notice, see this little skinny green line right there? That is actually some rain cool air coming out of this thunderstorm. That's going to spread toward the south and toward the east here over the next hour. If you're in Monument, you're going to get it first, and you can think of it as a mini cold front. As it passes through, winds are going to shift out of the north. You'll get a bit of a temperature drop, and winds will pick up too, so you certainly will notice it. It will head into Woodland Park, Colorado Springs shortly thereafter, so that's a feature that we will continue to monitor using radar. We have a few thunderstorms south near Trinidad. We'll keep an eye on those. Nothing severe to report to you right now. However, thunderstorms are slow moving, so they will be capable of producing heavy rain. While the chance for getting a storm over the Pikes Peak region and more importantly, over the Waldo Canyon burn scar, is not great out there this evening. There is still a slight chance that we are going to need to monitor the Waldo Canyon, the Black Forest, and all the other burn scars across southern Colorado as we take you through the evening hours. Shortly after sunset, though, and you'll see it on Skycast, pretty much everything winds down as far as the storms are concerned, with the exception of a few scattered showers that will continue over the high country. Temperatures tonight will be dropping into the 60s for most. We will be very slow to cool off tonight, so it might be one of those nights where rather than opening your windows, you might want to just bite the bullet, close the windows, turn on the air conditioner because it is going to stay warm tonight. We'll have another hot one tomorrow, too. 91 degrees will be your high temperature for your Thursday in Colorado Springs. We'll hit 98 in Pueblo, upper 90s to triple digits across the plains once again. So the cool air. You're not going to see any of that tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll have plenty of sunshine for the first half of the day. Then during the afternoon, the clouds will begin to build, and we'll see another round of thunderstorms pushing through during the afternoon. Most of the storms are going to stay off to our west and off to the north, very similar to what we're tracking out there today. Nevertheless, though, we will still see a chance that around the Pikes Peak region could get a storm during the afternoon. We'll keep it at about 20%. A similar date will set up on Friday. Another 20% chance for storms, another afternoon in the 90s. But then watch what happens Saturday into Sunday. The temperature is going to gradually begin to cool off. 83 degrees on Sunday. Monday, I'm dropping it at 79 degrees. And then we'll stay in the low 80s Tuesday, Wednesday. As of this point, it does look like Sunday. And then again on Tuesday, appear to be the most active days of the next seven days. So we will need to, again, monitor the flood potential on both of those days. For Pueblo, we are expecting temperatures tomorrow to be very hot. Friday, hot again. Mid-90s on Saturday, 87 degrees Sunday. We'll keep mid-80s around, which not cool by any means, but should feel quite a bit better than the 90s as we take you into the middle of the work week next week. Canyon City, your high temperature tomorrow, 94 degrees. We'll hit 92 on Friday, low 90s Saturday, and then 80s are back in Canyon City. And along with that cooler air, we'll also see a slightly better chance for storms as we head into early next week. And Teller County, 78 degrees tomorrow. We hit 76 on Friday. And then check it out, Sunday, 69 degrees. It is going to feel a bit cooler as those storms really increase across the area. And it's great to see the water. Goodness knows we need it. Yep. We just hope we don't get it in those areas that can't handle it. Yeah, this stretch of line. yeah, this stretch of weather we had. I don't know if you guys did mm -hmm. this as a child. It might explain a lot about me. But <laughs> you know, you take the fan. And you